Salt marshes are incredibly vital to the coastal ecosystem. Their intertidal wetlands situated between upland areas, such as forest and urban environments, and the ocean and salty estuaries where fresh and salt water mix. They flood at high tide and drain at low tide. Other types of wetlands include swamps, bogs, and fens. The soil in salt marshes is often called pluff mud and consists of decomposing organic matter, often several feet thick. Since it's frequently submerged by tides, oxygen levels in the pluff mud are extremely low, allowing certain bacteria to thrive. This condition produces a sulfurous, rotten egg smell commonly associated with tidal creek systems. Salt marshes occur worldwide, particularly in the middle to high latitudes, and are found on every coast in the United States. The majority of them are located along the Gulf and the South Atlantic coast. Salt marshes provide food, shelter, and a nursery habitat for more than 75% of coastal fishery species, including shrimp, blue crab, fish, oysters, and clams. They also protect and stabilize shorelines from erosion by buffering waves and trapping sediment. They reduce flooding by slowing and absorbing rainwater. And they maintain water quality by filtering runoff and metabolizing excess nutrients. They also serve as reservoirs for carbon dioxide, holding in greenhouse gas that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere. For centuries, salt marshes along the U.S. coast have been disappearing. Some experts estimate 70 percent. This is primarily due to coastal development, though waste runoff, particularly fertilizer and sewage, and rising sea levels have also contributed. Destruction or drainage of salt marshes disrupts the natural ecosystem, leading to an invasion of non-native species, and a destruction of the native fisheries population, an essential part of the coastal seafood economy. Their disappearance has also a major impact on flood protection. Without a buffer of vegetation between land and sea, storm surge builds and becomes extremely destructive. As climate change continues, it will become increasingly important to protect the salt marsh ecosystem for future generations.